Another question that I have been asked is how can total grazing where you take most all of the plants, desirable and not desirable, allow for a much longer period of rest and subsequently a much higher forest production per ranch or farm? Well, this is because if you consider that you have, let's say you have 10 large paddocks and you move selectively, you can stay in those large paddocks subdivided with polybrate, let's say uh, five days. Now you do total grazing where you take most all. And instead of staying there for five days with the subdivisions with polybrate, you stay there for 14 days. That effectively almost triples the rest period. And the advantages of a longer rest period is that you can recruit individual species, individual plants of the most desirable species. You can allow the soil to heal from the trampling and hoof action to where the, the better species can be established and you allow the plants more time to mature and produce larger dry matter production plus much higher humus production. This is what makes this the most effective way of managing grazing with your animals on your own ranch or farm.